So I'm um, back with part four. Let's continue. All right. Called on to the marriage supper of the Lamb. All right. Let's uh, continue here. Uh, let's go to First Corinthians. All right. Uh, the 15th chapter. All right. Start at uh, 49. All right. For further understanding, people. As we are born the image of the earthy, right? We shall also bear the image of the heavenly. What does that what does that tell you, people? Well, the Israelites come in different flavors, because we were scattered into all nations and we're going to look like all nations. All right, and speak in that nation's tongue. You understand that? So you're gonna have Israelites that look like Edomites, uh, you're gonna have Israelites that look like Ishmaelites. Moabites, Anamites, you understand that? Okay, it doesn't really matter, particularly what? If you're the elect. Because if you're the elect, as it says right here, and we just finished reading, right? The dead shall rise first, and those of us that are alive, right? We shall be caught up in the clock, and we shall all be changed within a twinkling of an eye. All right? The elect of Israel. Right? The first fruits. Okay? Which is who the Lord is coming back for. That one third, his elect. Right? We read that in Matthew 24, 31. And he shall send his angels at the sound of a trumpet, and he shall gather together who? His elect. Doesn't say the whole world. Doesn't say multi-nations. Doesn't say... Edomites, Moabites, Ishmaelites, no. He shall gather his elect. And man, you got you got precepts up the yin yang that back up who the, the elect is. The elect is talking about Israel. And I've already proven that to you in the blue letter. Okay? Who the elect is. All right? Because we looked up the word election. All right? At Clage, we already looked it up. And you saw, i.e., the Israelites, nobody else. All right? Which is what? That elect comes from among the Negro Latinos and Native Americans that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? The Latin tribes are Indian tribes. Like, you know, we say Latino and Natives, but that's the Northern Kingdom. All right? And those are Indian tribes. All right? Those are the 10 Indian tribes that came here after their Assyrian captivity. That Columbus came and, you know, put into chains. All right? He took 1,100 to start out with, you know, putting them in chains onto four Spanish ships and got shipped back to Seville, Spain and put them on auction block. And thus began the Atlantic slave trade. So as you can see, that's real history which Esau kindly likes to leave, leave out, okay? But that's real history, because that's written in circular history, as well as this is described in the scriptures about the Northern Kingdom, the 10 Indian tribes coming onto the Americas, all right? Whether you go read uh, Second Kings, you know, chapter 17, you can start there, jump to, well, uh, uh, Ezra's, all right, uh, jump to second Ezra's, what is it, 13, uh, verse 40 to 45, all right, all right, and that stuff, you know, it's all over, circular history, I mean, there's no hiding that stuff, people, all right, but he'd like you to have you believe that, you know, uh, slavery started, you know, in 1619, that's a falsehood, that's a lie, that's, that's that happened. That's our brothers and sisters of the Southern King. Okay, but slavery started 126, 127 years prior to that with the Northern Kingdom. You understand that? All right. So many of you all may have a problem with that, but that's a fact. So you have to understand that what Judah, Benjamin, and Levi have gone through. That stuff started with with the Northern Kingdom, when Columbus came here. You understand that? All right? So get that through your heads. 
All right. All right. Um, where are we here? All right. So uh, now this, I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the God power. Neither does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not mm -hmm. all sleep. Okay? In other words, not all of us are going to have to die and then, you know, have our spirits taken up, you know, as we read in uh, Thessalonians. All right? We're not all going to uh, sleep. But we shall what? all be changed, right? In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, all right? At the last trump, short for trumpet. For the trumpet shall sound, there you go, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, right? We read this in, you know, First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, right? 14 right down through uh, 17 there. We read it, all right? We just got through reading it. All right, for the dead shall be raised incorruptible, right? And that's talking about their spirits being taken up. And we shall be changed. And just like I said, those that are, are still alive, it's not these bodies that go up. The angels will deliver our spirits up into the clouds to get our new bodies. You understand? All right. For this corruptible... Right, talking about this corruptible body must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. You see that? Because again, we can't we can't uh, look upon the Most High in this flesh. Do you understand that, oh his son? You understand that? We can't do that. We need those new bodies, those new immortal extraterrestrial bodies. Got that? All right. So when this corruptible have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then it shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. All right. See that? O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And strength of sin is the law. All right? But thanks be to the God power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which giveth us, right? Talking to who? The elect of Israel. It giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai, the Machiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, immovable always, Abounding, always learning, always growing in this truth, right? In the work of the Lord, right? Being diligent, right? A workman, never taking your hand off that plow. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. See that? You're going to be rewarded. Okay? That's the point. All right. Let me jump here to... Uh, Matthews 25 and 10, all right? Let's jump here. What does it say here? And while they went to buy, this is, this is a story, you start at the top, at verse 1, this is a story of the, uh, the ten virgins. Five were wise and five were unwise. But we're going to pick it up here, go directly to the point. And while they went to buy, that would be the five unwise. They went to buy because why? Because they, they lost, uh, they didn't trim their lamps, okay? They, they lost the oil, which is what? The oil is this truth, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of these scriptures. They lost it. It was taken from them, basically. You know, obviously, you know, they weren't doing the work. You know, again, it goes back to that, uh, what is that, Revelations 3 and 16. You know, if uh, you're lukewarm or cold, the Lord is going to spoo you out. Okay, so you have to be hot. You understand that? You got to be hot. 
right? And that's what happened to these five unwise. All right, they lost their oil. They didn't trim their lamps, okay? They didn't understand that this is not a sprint. This is a marathon, okay? And you got to run the race to the end, all right? Right? For he that keepeth my works, right? He that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And thou shalt rule them with a rod of iron. What is that? Rulership. The Lord is preparing us for the kingdom to rule. Okay? The 144,000 are going to be the governing bodies. The setup is the Heavenly Father, of course, Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shai. He is the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. This is his kingdom being set up here on the earth. Okay? You got King David, all right? And if those 1948ers were the real thing, where the hell is King David? Where the hell are the 12 apostles? Where the hell, uh, you know, are the 12 tribes? Okay, do you understand, people? All right, where the hell are the gold streets? <laughs> anyway, but the setup is the Heavenly Father, his son, King David, the 12 apostles plus the 144,000. They're all men, 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes, and they're going to be the governing bodies to the kingdom, co-heirs to the kingdom with Yahweh Shai. You understand that? All right. All right. So while they went to buy, and again, I already told you because they didn't trim their lamps, the bridegroom, who's the bridegroom? That's Yahweh Shai, the much Yah came. All right. And they that were ready, you see that? They that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. That door being shut is like, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Noah's Ark. When the Lord shut that door, you know, to Noah's Ark. You understand that? All right. Let's, uh, let's move on here. All right. Uh, prove to you here. I'm going to take you to Jeremiah 6 and 2 to show you that the Lord is, sees uh, Israel, all right, as a woman, all right, likens her to a woman. I have likened the daughter of Zion, see that, to a comely and delicate woman. So, and again, Zion is interchangeable with the word Israel, Jerusalem. You understand that, people? All right? And again, that's also described in Revelation, the 12th chapter. All right? In uh, 12 and 1, and also in, uh, you know, verse uh, 12 and uh, 17. All right? Talking about the woman and the remnant of her seed, which is us. You know, particularly who? The elect. All right? Who have the testimony. It's truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding the testimony of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, through what? Through the prophets and through Yahweh Shai Himself. All right. Um, let's see here. Give me a minute. All right. I don't have much time, but uh, again, let me ask you this question. So what marriage do you know? that the wife doesn't know her husband's name. Okay, and remember that we're the woman. All right? Waiting on the Lord onto the marriage, right? Okay? And if we go to uh, Proverbs, right? 30 and 4. What does it say? Who have ascended up into heaven? Or descended, who have gathered the wind in his fists, and who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name? And what is his son's name? What is his name? The Most High, Yahweh. All right, which means he is, he exists. And what is his son's name? Yahweh Shai, which means is. He delivers. He saves. 
You understand that, people? If thou can tell. All right? You see that? And the only way you're going to know that is to what? Research. You understand that? And you have to get back into what? You have to get into the Hebrew to get those names. All right? So we'll end it here. I'm out. Shalom.